holds except what's in front of you. Hey guys, how's it going? Before I get started, uh, I just wanted to take a quick moment uh, to give credit where credit is due. The good folks over at eGPU.io discovered this about a year ago. I've seen articles, I've seen Facebook posts, I've seen forum posts attributing this to other people, to Create Pro, to random people on YouTube, and all of them hail this as a new discovery. None of these things are true, so I just want to set the record straight right now and give credit to the people who actually took the time to test this and to test all these cards and figure out what worked. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to get Thunderbolt 3 working in your cheese grater using this. Okay, so I know I've been saying that I would make this video forever, and uh, sorry it took so long. I mean, at least it's here now, right? The product page for the Titan Ridge says that it only works in a very small selection of motherboards, but it's been shown to work in a ton of systems, and one of them happens to be the Classic Mac Pro. A lot of people have asked whether it matters whether you get Revision 1 or 2, and I have now tried both Revision 1, which is what this card we're using here today is, and revision 2 with no problem. If you take a look at the front of the card, what you're going to see is we've got a display port up top right here, and two Thunderbolt 3 connections, and two mini display ports. These are not Thunderbolt 2 ports, these are mini display ports. And what these are used for is you can take two display port to mini display port cables, plug them into your graphics card, plug them in here, and use that to get up to 8K pass-through through one of your Thunderbolt 3 connections here or up to 4K pass-through through the display port connector right here. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to use this. It's an Akidio Thunder 2. It is a very small uh, external PCIe expansion box. Normally I use it as an eGPU with either a 1050 Ti or an RX 560. Uh, and use it with my MacBook Pro, just keep it in my backpack at all times. But for today's purposes, I went ahead and put a Sonnet USB 3.0 card in there, and we're just going to use that to test Thunderbolt on here. So, with that, we've got a couple other things that we need. Obviously, we're going to be using the Titan Ridge card. We have a Thunderbolt 2 cable, and right here, I have an Apple Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. And then I got a couple of drives. I have a little USB 3 SSD and I got just a little USB 2 thumb drive. So hot swap is not going to work when we're using this method. And that is because our motherboard does not have a Thunderbolt 3 header. And that's what allows for hot swapping of Thunderbolt 3. That said, if we plug something like a uh, Thunderbolt 3 dock that has USB ports and micro SD and SD card readers, all of that is hot swappable, and I'll show that here in a minute. Okay, so Mac OS has a built-in Titan Ridge driver, and it has for years, but it doesn't have the ability to, natively to do a handshake with this PCIe card or any device connected to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to boot into Windows, we're going to install a Thunderbolt driver, and then we're going to reboot. As I mentioned earlier, we don't have hot swap functionality, so that's critical. The device has to be plugged in when we boot into Windows. Then once we boot into Windows, we'll be able to reboot back into Mac OS and the device will be functioning properly. Okay, so I went ahead and installed the card and I would recommend you put it in one of your 4X slots because it's a 4X card and you only have two 16X slots so there's no point in wasting it on this. Okay, I've got my Akedio Thunder 2 plugged in as you can see here and the Sonic card is installed so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up my SATA SSD in this little enclosure and I'm going to hook up my thumb drive and you're going to see that they don't connect. Okay. So nothing. Once again, plug it in, and we're getting nothing, okay? And that's normal because we haven't done a handshake yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to restart into Windows. When I come back up, we're going to walk through driver installation. Okay, so once we're over into Windows, you're going to want to follow the link in the video description and uh, go ahead and download the Thunderbolt driver. Um, and then you're going to install the driver, and you're going to reboot 
if you have to use a boot champ, if you don't have an EFI uh, boot screen, then just go ahead and reboot into macOS and then back into Windows. When you come back, your device should be recognized. So we're gonna go over here uh, and we're gonna download the driver for this card from Gigabyte's support webpage. Extract it. And we're going to go ahead and install that. Once we have the Thunderbolt drivers installed, we're going to reboot and we're going to come back into Windows. When you do, your device should be recognized. You should be able to go down here into Thunderbolt and hit View Attached Devices and right there. I don't know if y'all can make that out, but it says Akidio Thunder 2 box right there. So now I'm going to reboot into Mac OS. Okay, so now I'm back in Mac OS, and so I'm going to show you that this worked, right? If you look up here in the top right corner, we have my two drives up here, the SSD and the flash drive up here, right? So now i turn the camera here so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unplug right there. Unplug the SSD, unplug the flash key. There you go. And they disappear. And Mac OS is pissed at me. And I plug them back in and they'll show right back up. Because like I mentioned earlier, hot swap support works wonderfully with USB 3. Just not with the Thunderbolt itself. So there they are, popping right back up. Okay, so now. If we go over here and we go into uh, System Profiler, you're going to see it's going to show when you go under Thunderbolt, it's going to show no drivers are loaded, right? But if we go over here to PCIe, okay, and then we scroll right on down here, it'll show the USB controllers right there, and that is our PCIe card that's sitting there in that Akidio Thunder. And that's it, guys. Okay, so just a couple of things I forgot to mention when I originally did this video. The first is that the two mini, uh, the two six-pin PCIe connections on the back, those are optional. You only need those if you want to power Thunderbolt devices uh, th from the card. The second thing is that using the newer boot camp drivers uh, has caused problems for some people. So the one that always works for me is boot camp 5.1. 0.5621. So if you stick with that one, you should be just fine. So here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. People love you more. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. In fucking fact, Mrs. Robinson, the world won't care whether you live or die. You live or die. In fucking fact, Mrs. Robinson, they probably hate to see your stupid face. Your stupid face.